Oh boy, that was not good. That, I think, actually made me sick. I do not feel well right now. That is probably the worst loss we have taken all year. That might be very well the worst loss we could possibly take all year. Oh, my head hurts. My stomach hurts. That was painful. That was absolutely painful. So, if you don't know, the Twins lost. They had the bases loaded, one out, and they ground into a double play to end the game. Oh my gosh, dude, I don't know what to tell you. They could just 10 minutes of me just crying, probably, because that was absolutely, I wouldn't say unacceptable, because, I mean, everybody did everything right, and it still didn't go their way. I mean, that is what the Twins have had going on for the last month. It's just everything is going right and still doesn't go their way. So we did end up losing 5-4. to four. We got out hit 11-9. to nine. We did make an error. <sighs> we worked around the error at least, but just a bad... I mean, this wasn't even a bad game. It's just like... We got beat, and I don't know what to tell you. So let's just go through it. I'll do my best to uh, to give you what I know. Um, we'll start with pitching. Uh, Barrios did fine. He went, what, 100 and what? How many pitches did he go? 113 pitches. He only threw 74 strikes. He got into a lot of three-ball counts, but they put him out there, and they said, you're going to get us some work. He did great. He did freaking great. I mean, yes, his pitch count wasn't where he wanted it to be but looking at his stat line his his finishing line it is incredible five and two-thirds innings yes he couldn't get out of the sixth yes he got into some trouble in the sixth but doesn't matter he got out of it five hits no runs three walks yes he walked a little bit more i'm sure than he would have liked to four strikeouts maybe a little bit less than he would have liked but his era is now under three he has been good our bullpen fell apart but before we get to the bullpen we're gonna walk you through the plays because i think that's a little bit more important tonight i mean we're gonna start in the first inning you check off the boxes did we score first yes did we score six runs no did we find a way to win uh, of course not we didn't because we lost but let's go to the first inning things did not look good we uh, the first batter of the game reached again marcus simeon because of an error but we got out of it. C.J. Crone was given the error. Um, we got Chapman to strike out. Then a single by Olsen. It was a bunt single and a hit by pitch. Loaded the bases with one out. Struck out. The next two guys got out of the inning. And then the bottom of the first, Mitch Garver comes up. Boom. See you later, ball. Right center field. 17th home run of the year. And not only did he homer in the first inning, Nelson Cruz came up. Boom. See you later, home run. 13th or 19th of the year. Sorry. Uh, Miguel Sano also hit a double. He had a great day. So that was the first inning. We didn't score until the seventh inning again. We also had a couple of big chances in a couple other innings. But the seventh inning, we scored again. They hit back-to-back -back home runs in the top of the seventh inning. Um, they also got, you know, that's how they got uh, their three runs right there after Simeon walked to start off the inning. But then Miguel Sano tanks a homer of his own. That tied the game. Uh, and we also scored on a, uh, a base hit from Crone, a base hit from Kepler, and then Scope. He came up with a sacrifice fly. Grossman had to go across his body, made a weird throw, but we were safe. Um, and that scored Adrian Andrianza, who came in uh, for Crone, to run for Crone, and then he came around to score. We took the lead, but of course, in the ninth inning is where things fell apart. Um, I mean, in the eighth inning, we had chances, right? This was our game to lose. In the eighth inning, we get one out. Luis Reyes flies out. But then Garver walks, Polanco singles, and Miguel Sano walks. The bases are loaded, and Marwin Gonzalez grounds out. I mean, not, not really anything you could do about that. But then let's go to the ninth inning. My gosh, how did we blow this? So Taylor Rogers got two outs. He got two outs just like that. Chapman to ground out and a big strikeout on Matt Olson. He hits... Kana, whatever his name is, I really don't care, uh, hits him on the back foot. How unlucky can he be? Uh, then the next guy doubles. Okay, so you've got second and third. 
Single by Chris Davis. There it goes. Five to four. And I I don't who was playing first. I don't remember who was playing first because Crow got taken out. Was it Andreanza? I'm not sure. But doesn't matter. Go for it. Missed it. And there's the there's the winning runs. So you're like, okay, why are you so depressed? I'm like, well, because look at the bottom of the ninth inning. Um so uh, uh Adrianza struck out. Max Kepler singled. Jonathan Scope doubled. I don't think you send Kepler there anyways, but Kepler doubles or Scope doubles. Kepler singles. They intentionally walk uh, Eddie Rosario. What can you do? I mean, we all know what he would have done if he would have gotten the chance to hit. I mean, he likes to swing the bat. Anything would have scored him. You put him on base. How many times does it work? And M Mitch Garver hit the ball hard right to the shortstop. I mean, he hit the ball as hard as he could. One, two hops to the shortstop. One, two, that's it. That's your ball game. And what can you do? I mean, like I said, we did everything right in that inning. We had a single, a double. We were patient, good at bats by by Scope and uh, Andrianza even. You know, to, to we, what can you do? I mean, there's nothing we could have done better. And Garver hits a sharp round ball into a double play they get out of it and win the game again physically sick about this one but uh so rogers got his second loss i guess but uh like i said let's go back to the relievers now duffy did great i mean kind of well not really i guess <laughs> he did give uh two outs he struck out one but did give up one run um in the next inning he got out of the jam for barrios first in the first the one out that he got in the 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 sixth inning um that was good but then yeah it did fall apart in that next out in the seventh Latell came in for two outs but he gave up back-to-back -back home runs that wasn't good um I, and then you know we got the lead back and Parker had a good inning um with the with the one inning he went struck out one walked one and Rogers I don't know what happened two outs two outs gives up three hits two runs and only struck out the one. I just don't know what to tell you about that. I mean, it just seems as if every single day it is somebody different. We need to trade for guys. I mean, I am not going to jump on Taylor Rogers and be like, okay, we need to get rid of him. And if you are, that's, I got to say, that's a dumb take. <laughs> that's, that's a bad take. Like, he has been our best. Every reliever has a game like this, but it just seems as if it's every single day one a new reliever does it and i don't know if that's because we're using so many different guys i know like if you look at it we use duffy little parker and rogers okay previous games we've used more and mcgill um harper and is there anybody else that i'm missing or is that the entire bullpen already um you know what I'm saying is like we're not using guys every single day. We're using Rogers, I think, a little bit too much. I don't think that had anything to do with it. He just got extremely unlucky. But it's like we use Duffy, then Littell, then Morin. And then we use this guy, this guy, this guy. And then we use this guy, this guy, this guy. I, there's no consistency, right? It's not Duffy, you have the seventh inning. Littell, you have the eighth inning. Harper, you have the ninth inning. You know, it's, it's not like that. And I think that is what we're missing is that different the the definition of a seventh eighth and ninth inning closer right i mean maybe i'm totally wrong on this but i just don't think you can be throwing these guys out there in different situations every single day and then throw rogers in there to get the save i mean that's i think again he just had a bad day but you can't be doing that where where Latell's throwing the second inning one day and then he throws the seventh inning the next and then he throws the eighth and then he throws the fifth and then sometimes he'll throw the eighth and ninth it's just there's no way that these guys can be consistent in their roles and i just i think that's the problem if we get a couple of guys you know one two three lock down seventh eighth and ninth inning that's a different story but that's my opinion on the bullpen let me know what you guys think again it just three of our guys fell apart today what can you do and what the thing you need to do is go get more more bullpen help but talking about the hitters today uh garver went one for three with his home run uh like i said he did everything right in that last at bat and he got robbed of a hit what can you do 
He also had two walks today. Incredible. That was great. I mean, he had a game of his life almost and just couldn't come up. Um, I mean, not game of his life, but you know what I mean. He was in every situation that he needed to be in, and he did his job. He just didn't get rewarded for the last one. Polanco, one for four. Cruz, one for four with his home run. Uh, Sano, two for three. I'm not going to say I'm jumping on the bandwagon yet, but he has been doing really well. Tonight, he put the ball in play, and that's what he needed to do. He's been taking a couple walks a little bit more than he's used to. I like that. Again, I don't know if I'm quite there in you know in the bandwagon of we should keep him yet. We're not going to trade him, but... I, I, I'm starting to, to see that he is capable of doing stuff, but once he once he can put the ball in play consistently, he has over the past you know 10 to 15 games, then I'll start believing it. But he had a good night again. I'll give him props for it. And he's raised the average a little bit. It's up to 240 now. That's pretty good for a slugger. His OPS is still 902. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, but just... Is he consistent? And that's the thing. Tonight, last couple of games, he's been consistent. It's just got to keep going. Um, and, you know, he he could be that player that we really need. So that's my take on him from now on. Let you guys know. But then Gonzalez 0 for 4. Chrono 1 for 3. Uh, Adrianza, he did come across for the run. Then Kepler went 2 for 4. Scope went 1 for 3 with an RBI. Arise went 0 for 3. And he ended his uh, on-base streak. Um, and then Rosario got intentionally walked. What can you do? Uh, we were 0 for 5 with runners in scoring position. Again, that's that's what sucks. That's what hurts us. Uh, that's what we had problems with yesterday as well. We were 0 for 4 with runners in scoring position. So that's the problem that we got to fix. And again, we probably should have won this game. We had so many chances in the 8th and ninth inning. If you could see, no runs scored. Um, ba bases were loaded right in both innings. There you go. So, I mean, that just tells you how how the chances were. We sucked through the middle part of the game. I think we were retired like 0 for 11 or something at one point. But the eighth inning, bases loaded twice and can't score a run with one out. No, just the first time there were two outs. But that's what I'm saying. So, a very depressing game. You know, at least Cleveland lost, right? We're still three games up. So, definitely a game we should have we should have taken from the A's and. Uh, that's disappointing, but you know what? We got tomorrow. Um, hopefully, we can get a win. Cleveland can lose again, maybe. That'd be great, and it's uh, all we can ask for, right? So, that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. I want to know your comments about the game more down below, but uh, let me know what you're thinking. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know. Um, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, if you missed yesterday or earlier today's video, click above my head. I'll see you later.